Welcome everyone to the Cat's Meowth and another Featured Friday. Last week I asked if anyone had any suggestions for future Featured Fridays, so today's video will be following one of those suggestions. Skullshire Tugel TCG is a Poketuber who has been watching my videos for, I believe, several years now, and his own channel, uh, his, his, you might actually know him more than you know me. He's a very popular Poketuber and has drastically uh, surpassed me in popularity. So when he asked to feature a Helioptile, I knew I had the perfect card to feature. And it's a little hard to get the light to focus right because of all of this reverse and shiny on the card. Actually, that's probably the best way to do it right about there or so. Yeah, I think this will work. Okay, so uh, I actually don't remember where I got this card, but it wouldn't actually surprise me if it came from Skull. Uh, I believe we have done a few trades in the past, and it would be something uh, that he would do. Uh, so, on to the card itself. This is a Japanese promo, and it was given out to participants of the Battle Festa tournaments that were held in Osaka and Tokyo back in 2013. This logo right here in the corner is the Battle Fest logo, and I really think this card just looks amazing with this mirror reverse fact that takes up the entire card, and it has the silver borders, uh, which is something a little different than the standard yellow borders that we see in the English sets. Now, it sounds like this card is pretty much the equivalent of the cards we get for attending U.S. Uh, tournaments. So pretty much you come in, you register, and uh, once you sign up, you get a cool little promo card. Um, they do that mostly with, uh, well, pretty much all sanctioned tournaments now. Pre-releases, you get cards, cities, states, nationals. Um, sounds like Japan does the same thing. But honestly, I think this one looks a little better than what we typically get. Now, this card was reprinted in the English Phantom Forces set, but it was never seen in a Japanese set, as far as like a, a booster box set. And this explains why there are two different Helioptiles in our Phantom Forces. One was the Helioptile that was featured in the Japanese equivalent of Phantom Forces, and the other was a reprint of this card. And this habit of printing Japanese promos into English sets is a great perk to collecting English over Japanese if you have to only choose one. I collect both uh, at the moment, but I will admit that uh, English always takes precedence over my Japanese sets just because it's so much easier, well, that in uh, location, uh, it's so much easier to collect the English sets because Japan gets so many promos. It's much more popular over there as far as, uh, I guess, the wider society. And I've heard that even um, they get, pro like, we get McDonald's promos, they get promos in their pizza boxes. So, um, it's, there's so many promos over there. I believe the black and white promo set was several hundred cards long, um, while ours was, I think, just over a hundred. So it's definitely a little easier, I believe, to collect the English, especially if you're in a good area. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this week's Featured Friday, and I welcome more suggestions for next week and the future's Featured card. I, ha I am keeping a list of all of the recommendations, so uh, we did have a few other recommendations last week other than Helioptile, and I have noted them, and I do hope to cover everything people suggest in the future. So thank you again to Tugel TCG for an awesome request, and I hope to see everyone again next week.